One of the key decisions you need to make, and one that is best done early, is determining what size, as in dimensions, your shared video will need to be. For instance, if you know you're gonna share your screencast on your website, and it needs to have the dimensions of 1280 by 720, also known as 720p, you'll be able to better make a decision about what size to record and edit the video at. So, first things first, figure out where you're going to share your video and the resolution or size it needs to be. If you're sharing to a site like YouTube, which will convert your video into multiple versions, record and publish at the largest size that makes sense for your content. If your video host doesn't compress or resize your videos, you'll want to be mindful about the file size, visual clarity, and probably need to produce at a smaller size. The easiest and most straightforward approach is to record at a size that you want to edit and publish your video. Meaning if you want your video to be 1280 by 720, you'll record, edit, and publish at that size. Now this will limit you some during editing since you won't be able to zoom in without diminishing the clarity of the visuals on screen. However, from an ease of creation, it will take you from start to finish the fastest. If you want to have more control and the ability to zoom in and focus attention or to ensure the viewer can see or read what you're showing them, you may have to take a different path. For instance, let's stick with the final video size of 1280 by 720. To have more control in editing, you'll need to record at a larger size. The key is to make sure that your recording size has the same proportions for width and height. This is also referred to as aspect ratio. 1920 by 1080 or 1080p, which is larger than 1280 by 720, but has the same proportions. When you add your recording to your editor, you want to have your canvas or frame set to the smaller size for editing. We'll talk more about this later. The key is to remember that the ratio of height to width should remain the same. Be careful if you record a really large size and edit at a much smaller size. For instance, recording a 4K screen and editing it for a 720p screen is going to make it difficult for your viewers to read or see anything that is happening without a significant amount of zooming in. This might be okay, but something you should consider or test out before recording. Before moving on, remember, keep the aspect ratio the same. If you do that, it will make your entire process easier. Next up, time to start the recording. <music>